Here is the 1987 K5 Blazer brochure that I got on eBay. And this, without a doubt, the 1973 to 91 Blazer is one of my favorite vehicles of all time. It's not, doesn't have that many pages, but trust me, they pack a lot in here. And it's a little bit wrinkled because it was in my backpack. And as cool it would have been, as cool as it would have been to have a full-size blazer with four on the floor, um, something that big, I'd probably get the uh, the automatic if I were ordering if I were ordering a new one. But the 5.7 V8 with a four-speed manual that has a uh, a granny gear that would be awesome. And it has a lock, I believe it has a locking front differential standard and an open, like an open uh, axle for standard for the back, but you can get a limited slip. Not sure if you can get a locking or a posi or not, but a 373 limited slip in a vehicle that has a locking front differential it would be just fine in my opinion. Light bar is pretty cool. Not that wild about the beige. called Doe Skin Tan, and, uh, yeah, Doe Skin Tan. Not that wild about that color. I mean, it's an okay color, but... And the red vinyl looks okay, but I think that's... Whether it's cloth or vinyl, I think that's just too much red. I want gray, beige, or possibly blue, and cloth, not vinyl. That is the, the uh, up-level Silverado trim right there. That is the Custom Deluxe. And that appears to be a pretty well-equipped Custom Deluxe, too. I can see an air conditioner vent. And um, I don't know what it was like in the 87 models, but between 73 and 91, typically the, uh, the trucks and SUVs without air conditioning just did not have vents in the dash. And those that did have air conditioning did have vents in the dash. So that would appear to have that would appear to be a uh, one with air conditioning, but I do not see the little tuning dials for the radio. So that might be a radio delete, or just the standard AM radio looks different. You'll see the radio tuning dial right there. That one doesn't have it. Why you would get one of these without a back seat, I don't know.
And here we are on the last page. And I could have sworn that, that a uh, that one with digital tuning is available. Notice that, that tape deck just has the analog. Though if I were buying one of these in the uh, in '87, I'd get it. I'd still get the upgraded stereo, but I'd probably end up ripping all that out and putting like a top of the line Pioneer system in there. It'd be perfect for cruising around town with the top removed. And those, without a doubt, are my favorite rims. Those, without a doubt, the optional forged aluminum wheels. Though the white styled wheels look pretty. Uh, Pretty nice too. And the rally wheels. And things like power steering, power brakes, heat, obviously, seat belts, of course, um, stuff like that is standard. But even, and yep, even an AM radio is an option. An AM FM I don't know what the difference between an AM FM radio and an AM FM stereo radio is. Maybe there's better speakers or something. And I think they might have mislabeled it. That it says that has seek and scan, but I think all you do is just press the buttons and it puts it on a uh, whatever station you have it set to. The legitimate seek and scan is the digital tuning one where you press a button and it and it seeks the station with the best reception. And that doesn't have a clock. Either. You get one more gallon when you get the diesel engine, which is pathetically underpowered. The Detroit, the 6.2 liter Detroit diesel 379 cubic inch is a decent engine in my opinion, but without about three grands and up, without about three grand and upgrades from Banks performance, it is absolutely pathetic. It has less horsepower and torque than the standard 5 liter V8 on this on this model. But yeah, if I were getting a K5 Blazer, brand new in 87, I'd probably get all black with a gray cloth interior and every available option. There's the colors. Or a red one would be cool too, like red with a beige interior maybe. It sucks you can't get red with a gray interior. And those are the three colors you could get in the blazer right there. One, two, three, four, eight. Eight total colors, and you could combine them to make, like, two-tone and other combinations like that. And here's all the engine specifications. There you go. The 5.7 liter V8 is the most desirable option, in my opinion. The 5 liter V8 has decent horsepower, but, I mean, my, my Tacoma has 159 horsepower, and that has 170. While it has considerably more torque, still, not powerful enough in my opinion. The 5.7 liter V8 has plenty of torque. Maybe it could use a little more power. And the, the diesel is just pathetic. 130 horsepower and 240 foot-pounds of torque. And I don't think you could even get that with this manual transmission. Yeah, without a doubt, the 5.7 liter is the obvious choice here. The most V6 engines and pickups 
are more powerful than that that V8 than the 5.7 liter. And the I mean seriously, the engine, the 5 liter is making about as much horsepower as the the V6 in my uh, 96 Pathfinder that I don't have anymore. All right, that's the Blazer brochure. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Out.